In this video, I'm going to show you how to subtract using the expanded column method with borrowing. Sometimes borrowing is called exchange, sometimes it's called decomposition, but they all mean the same thing. So to start with, again, I'm going to write my numbers one on top of the other. And I'm going to partition my 86 into 80 and 6. And I'm going to partition my 28 into 20 and 8. Draw a, num draw a line underneath. So, first off, I can see that if I'm looking at my 1's column, I've got 6 minus 8. Now, I can't do that. So I've got to look at my 6. My 6 originally was part of this 86. So it's part of the same number. So I'm allowed to move a part of this number from the tens area into the ones area. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take 10 away from here, making this 70, and keep it within the same number, but shuffle it over to here, and add the 10 onto the 6. Now 10 add 6 is 16, so I'm just going to mark it on as a small 1 above the number there. So I haven't changed the value of this number. I've still got 70 add 16, in the top number, which is the same as 80 add 6. So, now I think I can do this ones column. 16 minus 8. I know that's 8. And here I've got 70 minus 20. Well, 7 minus 2 is 5, so 70 minus 20 is 50. And I'll put the plus sign in there, giving us 50 plus 8 is 58, which I can write down here as well. 